Ventana Wildlife Society started releasing condors here in Big Sur in 1997. You know, and, and at the time, uh, people around here hardly even knew what the condor was, let alone knew what they looked like or knew anything about them. Now, just 15 years later, I drive through Big Sur and people are pointing the birds out to me and telling me all about them and everything. And so I think just in a short period of time, a lot has changed in the, the understanding of the condor and, and um, you know, what it needs to survive and where they are. And it, it's just, it's really exciting to see so many people um, so enthusiastic about what we're doing. Their population got all the way down to just 22 birds in 1982. And now we have approaching 450 as the global population. Lead from spent ammunition is a really big problem for California condors in the wild because they're obligate scavengers and they're only eating the remains of dead animals in the landscape. Another important reason for why people are switching to copper ammunition is because it indiscriminately kills any condor that ingests it, including the chicks. Our strategy is threefold. Number one, we recognize that the coast is a great place for condors very safe. The foods that they eat often do not contain ammunition in them. Secondly, we want to develop a stronger presence inland where the lead threat is greater so that we can be more effective. And lastly, we want to encourage a switch to high-performing copper ammunition. We're even handing out free non-lead ammunition to hunters and ranchers and have been doing so since 2012. Our long-term strategy is really about education. We now serve over a thousand kids a year by taking them outside in beautiful places like this so that the next generation is not only capable but willing to protect it as we are today. The day condors fly free with no tags is the day they will truly be free.